<sighs> it's a shame you weren't able to convince Deuterium to rejoin the Primordialists. But I know you tried your hardest. Some people just can't see their own best interest. But please, don't think of it as a failure. The citizens of Colorado Springs will honor you for ages to come for your work here today. Because you will have brought the miraculous power of the Holy Detonation to their homes, and made their lives, and their children's lives, better forever. This is it, Rangers. The moment we've been waiting for. The moment when we connect the detonation to the grid. I can hardly believe it. Here, take these. Consider them a minor recompense for your efforts thus far. Now come. The others have gone in before us. Let's join them. Hurry! Rangers, the Proteus says they're sad you were unable to convince Deuterium to reunite with us, but they thank you for your efforts. Uh, the Proteus says they understand, but the way it all worked out has made them determined to give the world the gift of the Holy Detonation's glow now before any further splits happen in the church. So they've decided that today is the day that we're going to free the Holy Detonation from its shackles once and for all. Isn't that exciting, Rangers? You'll be first-hand witnesses to the birth of the Primordial Age. They mean that we're going to turn off the time dilation field that's been holding the Holy Detonation back and, well, <laughs> let her rip. 
It'll be glorious, Rangers. We'll share its glow with Colorado Springs, Denver, and everywhere downwind of here. <laughs> Heck, if we're lucky with the weather, it might even reach to Kansas. Oh, <laughs> you bet. Uh, the Proteus says it is our destiny to free our God and allow its glory to spread unrestrained. <laughs> oh, there's no stopping us, Rangers. <laughs> Nothing's going to turn us back now. <laughs> We're making our dreams come true. It, Rangers, <laughs> let the Proteus absorb you. Primordialists, give your strength to the Proteus. Defend the holy detonation. I am with you, Proteus. Take oh, Proteus! Oh, my God, spontaneous mutation. It must be the proximity to the detonation. The Proteus absorbed them! It's getting larger! Oh no. The Proteus has gone mad with rage! And you are their target, Rangers! Until they're killed, You'll never be able to adjust the detonation's power output. But killing them won't be easy, for if the toughness of the tumor colonies is any indication, their body will be so robust, mere guns and explosives won't hurt them. See the heat sink reservoir over there? The base documentation says the canisters that lower its temperature contain pressurized cryofluid. If you raised them, then lured the Proteus near them and blew them up, the blasts might damage it. I believe the computers here on the central platform raised them. In a movie I saw once, they killed an amorphous blob by freezing and shattering it. Here, the cryofluid would freeze the Proteus. The canister shrapnel would shatter it. And... If I remember the documentation correctly, more canisters are on standby to replace any broken ones. It would just take some time to refill them. I be I believe that... I certainly hope so. Or we're all doomed!
done, Rangers! That blast of cryo fluid did the trick! Keep it up! Lure them to the next one!
dreaming, we just know now We're gonna make our dreams come true
stop them. But what an unexpected outcome, Rangers. I truly thought when the Proteus said they wanted to share the detonation, they meant through the power grid. Ah oh, well. One can't expect rationality from cultists, can one? At least the detonation remains stable and unharmed, which allows us to resume our mission. Indeed. Sad all the same. But we must look to the future now. It's time to propel Colorado into the new age of energy. Let's begin. Hmm. That code is in the documentation I gave you. Uh, right. Uh, there. Also, here are the instructions for adjusting the detonation's time dilation field, which will also adjust its energy output. Excellent! Access granted! Now, you will see you have a range of parameters you can set, including some you shouldn't even consider. For example, shutting down the time dilation field completely. That would quite literally be the end of us. But increasing the passage of time by even the tiniest amount should be enough to give Colorado Springs all the power it needs, while at the same time not compromising the safety of the inhabitants of Cheyenne. Er, any more than it already is. Mm, yes? That is more than enough to run the systems of this base. But not enough for any external uses. Try increasing it by another nanosecond. Why? Why did you do that? With the time dilation field collapsed, there is no way to restart the explosion. Cheyenne Mountain has become useless as a power source. But it would have been in my hands. The hands of a rational, scientific, civilized man. You could not find less wrong hands. Oh, why am I wasting my time talking to small-minded, backwards-thinking brutes? Going home. Good day. You should not see me again. Rangers, if you shoot regular folk, I will no longer have anything to do with you. Is that clear?
What the fuck? What did these people ever do to you? Everything's in good shape. Not too hot, not too cold, if you get my drift. Elijah Ward calling again. Do you read me? Rangers, come in. It's Elijah Ward. Go ahead. You know what I want. I've been waiting with bated breath. Have you shut down the holy detonation yet? Hallelujah. Thank you, Rangers. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I know we may not be as warm as we might have been here in Colorado Springs because of this. Again, Thank you. I will be sending your payment to your base presently. It should be there when you return.
Colonel Death will be along just as soon as I make sure you're all here. And you haven't brought along any unexpected guests. Can't be too careful these days, right? That's not important. Just make sure you're ready to meet Colonel Death. Well, looks like everyone's here who's supposed to be here, so I'll give her a ring. One sec. All clear. Come ahead. <clears throat> Hey now, cowboys. Face to face at last. And just as handsome as I thought you'd be. Figured we'd meet here to remind you what being a ranger means. These folks are alive today because you chose to help them, even though it meant going against the Patriarch's orders. To my mind, that's the ranger way. Helping the helpless ahead of the powerful. Just something to keep in mind as you hear me out. <laughs> Good eye, Doc. It's definitely put a hitch in my talk box. But no thank you, I got it under control. This and my fake leg are souvenirs from when my chopper got shot out of the sky over Long Beach, California. Good times. But, uh, since you've obviously got the skills to use them, here, I got a few extra med kits on me. Try not to use them all at once. Well, ain't you polite. Hope that bodes well. Now what with you not taking Saul's sons out like I asked? I'm guessing we've got different ideas about how things in Colorado should play out. But I'm still hoping you'll come around, November. So here's the deal. As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. And second, yes! Scar collectors. Well, well, speak of the devil and her minions shall appear. Looks like Liberty overheard our rendezvous call. Guess we'll have to deal with this before we continue.
to the Patriarch! Thanks, dude. Die, Patriarch! As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. Second, and you're gonna love this, the Patriarch's gotta go too. I love the people of Arizona. Arizona is my home. But are you willing to save lives there at the expense of lives here? Are you okay sending home food spattered with innocent blood? The Rangers have fought tyranny since the beginning, without compromise. How can we continue to do that if we take handouts from a tyrant? How can we pretend we're heroes if we do his dirty work to get it? Sorry. I had this argument with General Woodson a hundred times. A sure deal was more important to him than a moral one. That's why the advance team went dark and decided to do this on our own. Of Course, it turned out we couldn't do it on our own, which is why we were so happy when you showed up. And why we're here now, asking you for help. Oh, thanks for hearing me out. Uh, let's talk about Liberty first. I've got to hand it to her. Daddy's little girl has done the impossible. She's united the boldest and baddest warlords of the Eastern Plains, and she's getting ready to lead them into Colorado. When she does, well... Well, that'll be the end of this place. Every man, woman, and child from here to the Rockies will be killed, enslaved, or taken as a sacrifice. And their houses and towns burn to the ground. None of us want that, right? Glad to hear it. So here's the plan. Originally, we hoped you'd help Cordite take control of the gangs again, so he could lead them all off to Kansas and his blood-soaked destiny. But since you dumb sons of bitches couldn't keep the man around, that's not on the table. I'm guessing our plan B is a lot like the Patriarch's plan A, with one minor difference. Daddy'll want you to go to Liberty's camp, get her warlords to kill each other, then bring her home for a stern talking to. We want all that, too. Except the part about bringing Liberty home. As far as we're concerned, you can put a little dirt over her and leave her there. Now, I'm guessing y'all have some questions. Pete and Brother Thomas came back with me from L.A. and Tax from Arizona. These others are locals who have various gripes against the Patriarch. We trained them up as best we could. Nicer bunch of folks you'll never find. Pretty simple, really. The Patriarch has spies watching Liberty's compound. If you show up, those spies will think you're there on Daddy's behalf, and they'll be happy to see you. If we show up, our plan is revealed, yeah? And that would give the Marshals a chance to button up Colorado Springs before we make our attack. They'd be waiting for us. <sighs> now that's gonna be a fight. Basically, while you're taking care of Liberty, my team will be in Colorado Springs, softening the ground. Once you finish up out there, you'll come back and help us corner the man and bring him down. Our primary concern, other than ending the bloody reign of the Buchanans, is minimizing civilian casualties. That means you've got to ride herd on your crew and watch who you ally yourself with. We want to be the good guys here, so we've got to do this clean. Rape and pillage is a surefire way to turn people against their liberators. Well, for one thing, we ain't paying the man. We ain't actively funding murder the way old Saul is. And second, despite Cordite's destiny, my guess is he goes back to Kansas and him and his rivals all wipe each other out, leaving the whole territory a more peaceful place. All right then, what's it gonna be?
What? Oof, there's a load off my mind. Thank you. You're gonna make all the difference. Now here's the location of Liberty's camp. Be careful when you get close. The gangs don't care much for strangers, and even less for rangers. You mustn't do this, rangers. Please. I am sympathetic to your cause, but I am still a loyal subject of the Patriarch. If you follow this path to its conclusion, I shall have no choice but to oppose you. Hmm. Good luck sorting it out, cowboys. We'll talk again when Liberty's taken care of. hostage, and we were keen to get them back. Lucky for us, they weren't too good at covering their tracks. Caught them in a box canyon and hit them right at daylight. Glad to say the kids are back with their kin, safe and sound. I've been promoted to full marshal. Ain't that something? I know you worry, Ma, but it really feels like I'm making a difference here. It's hard work, dangerous work, but I'm helping keep people safe. And that's gotta count for something in this fallen world. Anyhow, tell the family I miss them terribly. And I hope to see you and Pa soon. Your son, Alistair Hoon. This is Ranger HQ. The Brainiacs in R&D just showed me some of the wild stuff they're done working on. You should come take a look when you're free. Over and out. who captured that dangerous desperado, Valor Buchanan. You must be all kinds of brave. So, do you heroes need to buy anything from Snapping Jimmy Bob? Let's.
Rangers defeat cultists in ancient military base. Save city from nuclear Would annihilation. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on, answer the question. Right, nice right. to see the city back to life. Huh? Yeah, people were shopping. Rangers, a little snowbird told me that you gave Frank Pappas a badge. My boys and girls couldn't believe it. Just a word of warning. Frank's got a big mouth, especially when it comes to state secrets. And some folks would like to shut him up for good. I'd keep him on a tight leash if I were you. Don't let him wander far from that HQ of yours. Anyway, what can I do for you? We sure are, Rangers. Just don't do anything to disappoint me. Roger that. Have you thought any more about what I said? I thought about arresting you for it, but for the sake of argument, where would this successor of Saul's come from? Oh no, you won't catch me out that way. I told you I'd make no suggestions. But, but I suppose it'd be safe to tell you putting the refugees in the brig now. What can I do for you? That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Sadly, I don't think a peaceful track putting the refugees in the brick now. What can I that's what I'm here for? How you mean a transfer of power to you? Storming the palace and fighting the marshals, confronting old Saul in his throne room, because that is what it would come to. Hmm. I suppose it might be possible to give Colorado the future I've been dreaming for her in that scenario, but it wouldn't be certain. It wouldn't even be likely, so... So, I'm afraid I'd have to say no. I would not support you. Thus, if you want me to remain here and to continue giving you advice, I would advise you not to tell me if that is the course you are intending to follow. Sadly, I don't think a peaceful transition is possible anymore, Rangers. Thanks for clearing Excuse those folks me. out of the barracks. Sleeping on the floor was killing me. Impressive, November. You saved two human beings. That's the kind of leadership we'll need to survive. What kind of name is that? Anyway, good work. Heard Team November, I'm here on behalf of Gwendolyn Reed. She asked me to say, <clears throat> This is an infinitesimal reward compared to what you have returned to me. 
You have my eternal thanks. I'll let her know you got it. Nice work. Two birds caged, one to go. What this place needs is a good sound system. Rescuing innocent bystanders is a hero's number one priority. I am proud that we saved so many in Aspen. Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. I wonder if there will be conflict. obliged if you came by.
Thanks, dude. 